What is up, an army? I am GameNear5 coming at you with a brand new video. I messed up the schedule like before this week. Uh, today was supposed to be, uh, originally was supposed to be this, but then I switched it to an, an aircraft season, an aircraft because I thought this was supposed to be video 1000. I miscounted. This is not video 1000. That's this weekend. So I moved everything around. Okay. So. This is today, something new on Friday, and you guys will see what happens this weekend. Anyway, with that, welcome back to Nair Village. <laughs> Did this Monday, and I was supposed, I thought I'd be doing this Friday. Nope. <laughs> and I could have moved the Friday thing. Mm, maybe, yes, but that's not even ready yet, so, yeah. Hmm. That's a weird lighting... That looks weird under the lighting, but quickly before we get to what we are actually going to be building today, which isn't in the main city as I hinted towards in the previous episode, um, t last episode we built the asylum, which took three hours, <laughs> and um, I uh, finished all the interiors, this is supposed to be like a weapons locker in the watchtower here. And let's just quickly fly up, or it would take too long. And the watchtower, you can actually now stand in. <laughs> it's pretty much carbon copy on the other side. But uh, let's head in um, to the watchtower, uh, to the actual asylum now. Now, I haven't really figured out what to do at the entrance yet I suppose I want to have like a like a metal detector but I don't know exactly how to make one of those yet so first things first let's go up here uh it definitely I will say looks a lot different than the last time you guys were in here um everything is now done in here everything is done this is the um like contraband room where things would be put that they're not supposed to have. Then over here is the medical room. And then up here we have the warden's office. And uh, this turned out quite nice. Like... I will def say it's definitely the, one of the weirdest builds I've ever done <laughs> because um, I've, but I think it turned out quite, quite nice. This is uh, one of the two back watch towers is how you get in. I'm not going to go in because it's pretty much the exact same as the watch towers up th out there. Um, uh, same as uh, that one right there. So uh, now let's actually go into the actual prison area, well, aside, yeah, anyway, these are the cells, they all look pretty much the exact same, this is a toilet, with no water in it, because I didn't think to put water in it, then we, they have a bed, and that's it, <laughs> then over here is visitation, this is the prisoner side of visitation, then, um, this is the the actual visitor side of visitation. Now, I was thinking, this is probably a bad idea. The visitors would have to get walked in by guards, then into here. I think I might have to work that out eventually. Uh, in, but I didn't yet. So, anyway. Then over here, this is where they get their food. And, uh, yeah. It turned out quite nice. But... This is now done. We can leave this place and we can go look at the next build, get started on the next build, which we have to drive a little bit out of town for. So, uh, let's, uh, let's saddle up and let's get at it. <laughs> I, I think I'm on the right side of the road. <laughs> anyway, um, Right now, it's a little bit harder to actually get to where we're supposed to go because the main road is currently, uh, the main highway is kind of, well, destroyed at a point. 
Um, so we have to go the sort of the scenic route. So, um, yeah. <sighs> I totally was not prepared to be filming this today, but uh, I'm t totally fine with it. Just caught me a little bit off guard. <laughs> Might as well go this way. We need to go through the suburbs to get to the place. Oi, oi, oi. <sighs> so nice doing a nice, quiet stro horse ride through um, the s streets of the server. Trying to get to the next project of uh, week one. <sighs> the good thing is I know pretty much exactly how to get to where we're going because I pretty much know the server like the back of my hand. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> this is probably the longest lasting construction site. No, but this is the actual suburb streets, and I'm just I come onto a complete uh, pause with it because I start doing other stuff, and uh, I always have to drive through it to go to my house solstice. <laughs> like, <sighs> anyway, this is the only way to get to where we're going. Right now. <laughs> you usually I would just take the main the main uh highway highway one, but highway one is currently being well the way the part at the airport the airport corridor is still being upgraded. Couldn't get that done in between. <clears throat> One day, <laughs> it's kind of um, not an easy task. So yeah. <sighs> Going. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It, I always forget which way I'm supposed to be going. I think it's this way, actually. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> this is a highway that I don't usually drive on. It's also one of the newest highways and longest highways on the server besides Highway 1. As it spans so much. <laughs> this is the new part that is being worked on right now. This is why we can't use the airport corridor <laughs> and here we go this also needs to be upgraded and I'm gonna be doing this after the airport corridor is upgraded so uh, yeah well we'll see how this turns out I don't the main thing is gonna be widening this lane because it's Really, 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 uh, annoying that it's just one lane. <laughs> anyway, um, we're getting close. De decently close. <laughs> now I have no idea how long this build's gonna take. I will definitely say that. I have no idea how long this is gonna take. The last build took three hours, and I was putting a lot more work into it. This one is pretty much double the size of the asylum, and, uh, yeah. I'm not even sure about everything yet. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this, but I guess there isn't really much else I could do besides this. So, yeah. You're approaching it. 
There's not really an exit yet here. Day. This is what we are working on today. As you can see, it's all lined out. I've worked on this in the past. Just I've I've abandoned it so many times because I've kept getting more ideas for it, and now I have an even bigger idea for it. <laughs> it's going to be a race track plus memorial plus memorial thing. Um, it's the Hub Town Historical Site. And Memorial Site. Yeah. Anyway, that's what this is. Uh, this is what we're building today. <laughs> it's ridiculous amount of work that's needing to be done for this. So, um, yeah. It goes from here to there. And then I also have to do this building here. It's gonna take a whole lot of work. <laughs> and do I have it in me to get this done in a little bit of a day? Probably, probably not. Probably gonna have a very long night, but hopefully, I, hopefully it's good. It turns out okay. I have a very good idea as to what I want this to look like. So, without further ado, took us 11 minutes to drive over to here, Mr. Cow. And, uh, yeah, I don't really have a great way of describing where things are going to be on this one. Because, well, I don't know what's going to be in it yet. I know that this is a, a pit lane for the, um, hub. Memor a hub memorial racetrack, which will go all the way around. I'm still debating if I'm going to be building that or not. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. So, without further ado, let's get to building. Let's get going. Um, the build that was supposed to be built the tomorrow, but is being built today. Anyway, let's go.
Okie dokie. It is not really that bad. Done for right now. Done to the point that I can do in this episode because this has to get up. I'm finishing this at 4.50 p.m. On um, the day you guys are seeing this. <laughs> so, yeah. Much like the asylum, I picked off a little bit too much. <laughs> but I think it turned out okay. In the long run, it... Now, I will say I didn't complete the inside. <laughs> now, the, mostly the main building. This is very much not done yet. <laughs> but I think you can understand the where it's heading and... I think the design turned out really, 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 really nice. And I just realized I even screwed this up. I screwed this up when I was... I noticed I screwed this up, but this I might not fix. And the reasoning why is I might build that into the design on the interior. Now, I would say I'd show you on the next episode... But I have no idea when that'll be, and I'll probably forget by then. So, um, on the on other news, you can see a bunch of scaffolding still hanging around. Um, the second floor, uh, the floor that uh, is for the race um, track uh, equipment. Um, because there's nothing, no place spot, uh, there was no way I could fit stuff behind the area, so I fit it all, I put it up here, which I think turned out really, really, really nice, so, um, the idea is that we just have it up here, and then there'll be, like, ladders here, and, and, like, little, little trap doors here to bring the stuff down, but currently, because this is concrete powder up here, I have to have it held up, so I have a bunch of scaffolding underneath, holding it all up. And I think it's turned out, currently it's turned out okay. <laughs> um, now, the light gray bits, these bits right here, um, right, right here, these aren't always going to be light gray. When there's a race going on, they'll be the color of the team that's underneath. Which I thought that would be a really, really neat way of, um, uh, um, incorporating the team colors. I haven't done that in any of the pit lanes so far. And I will say the actual pits is a very different design to pretty much any of the others. I really like how they turned out. And this is what the pits would actually look like. Um, when it is a race day, all it would just come to here, then there would be the pit wall right here, and so on and so forth. I think this turned out really, really nice. I really like the looks of it. And, uh, yeah. The one building is actually still, is actually taller, which is really surprising. But, um... Midway through, I was like, you, you know, it's too flat on this side. So I pushed, bumped it all out, and I was like, it's too flat on this side. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And it really transformed the pit, adding those, um, the bump out bits on both sides. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to fully complete this build, um, over the coming days. Um, but I just, I physically couldn't get it done today. I still have the parking lot to do. I still have the interior of the main building. I have the entire second floor <laughs> to properly pave and put the holes in the roof. So, yeah, there's a decent amount left to do here, but that is all I have time for today. And this week, I have no idea when we'll be back on here. Uh, um, I will definitely say it was nice doing this uh, this week. Um, just 
this is usually quite rare, me doing stuff on here, but I did enjoy it. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it a day for today. I'll see you guys Friday with the new series. With that, I'm Game Near 5, signing off. And goodbye!